Hello, Unified students, families, and staff. I'm Santi Soriano with Eagle News, and I'm here to provide you with a district update. Now, on Eagle News, we focus on healthy minds, healthy bodies, and healthy learning, as well as keeping you updated on district activities. So here is your district update for August 13th. 2021. Now we are absolutely delighted to see every one of our students in every one of our schools. So and we also just thank you. We thank everyone for graciously adhering to all of the health and safety protocols. Thank you students. Thank you staff. Thank you families. Much appreciated. Um, I also just want to let you know that today Superintendent Hoffman also sent a welcome back letter to everyone to the Elk Grove Unified School District uh, community and we encourage everyone to read all right, so we're going to get started with our update. So first of all, what happened this week? We definitely have received a health order, a new health order that came out from the California Department of Public Health. And we want to share that in response to the recent health order. Please know, first of all, that ever since the COVID-19 vaccine was made available, we in Elk Grove Unified made it a priority to keep staff informed about area clinics. And we also worked diligently with our local healthcare entities to offer the vaccine to our staff here locally. Now, based on the registrations of those who are getting vaccinated, we know that a majority of our Elk Grove Unified School District staff did get vaccinated. Now, we are aware of this new newly released health order and that's requiring employees and on-site volunteers in our TK through 12 public and private schools to verify vaccination status. And if they're not fully vaccinated, um, everyone's going to have to go on uh, those who are unvaccinated or not fully vaccinated will have to undergo at least weekly COVID-19 testing. So we're carefully and promptly reviewing the details of uh, that health order and we will be establishing a plan to comply. Uh, we also will continue to urge employees, parents, and children who are eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine to please go and do so. All right, now where can you get uh, a, vac a COVID-19 vaccine? Well, there's, there's still lots of opportunities available uh, in the community. Uh, where you can find the vaccination clinics. And when you click on our letter, you'll be able to see the links and the um, how to register for those. So um, every day, there's a free Kaiser Permanente COVID-19 vaccine clinic at the Bruceville Center vaccination station. And that's daily from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. So it's daily, Monday through uh, daily. So Monday through Sunday, um, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now, and if you're somehow traveling or something like that, you can go into the California's database at my turn. Um, it's on the California's website or state of California's website, and you can find a vaccination uh, clinic as well on that site. Now, let's get on to some other things. There were some things that we wanted to make sure people knew about going into this next new school year in particular. What is the EGUSD? independent study program. Now, information about the uh, Elk Grove Unified School District's independent study program can be found on our internet. And we'll give you, a, we'll show you where it's at on our internet. And there's a link provided in the letter under um, the, in, it, on our website, it's under the academics link. So take a look at our website, go to academics and you'll see down there, independent study. We also put a letter out a couple of, I think it was last week or so, giving you information about our independent independent study program. Okay, let's talk transportation. Well, so we know there's a bus driver shortage in our area. So what, and that's causing delays, but we're getting through that and we're solving a lot of issues. But what other transportation options might be available to students? Well, well, Elk Grove Unified School District may be the only agency that can provide specific bus service to a school site. The Sacramento Regional Transit District, which is known as SACRT, wants to remind everyone that students or youth in grades TK through 12 can ride the entire SACRT transit network, including SACRT buses, light rail, and smart ride on demand mic micro transit service, which is free. Um, and students and youth can ride for free. 
which um, also recently expanded to Elk Grove. So many routes include bus stops conveniently located near our schools. They may not go to our schools, but they may be near our schools and not every school, that's for sure. Um, so how can, how can you ride? Well, number one, all school districts in the area, in the Sacramento RT area, will be provided with rider-free RT cards for students in grades TK through 12th. And then through September 30th, 2021, students don't need a new ride free RT sticker to ride. You don't need the sticker anymore to ride. Simply show a student ID or a previous ride, uh, ride free RT um, uh, uh, information card. Then for students and youth who need a card, like a free ride RT card, visit SAC RT's customer service and sales center, which is located at 1225 R Street. And that's adjacent to the 13th Street light rail station. And you can pick up a card there. Now the ride free RT cards are also available at Sacramento County Public Libraries. So if you go to your public library in Sacramento County, you'll be able to get a card. Now the district will also be working with SAC RT to distribute the 2021-2022 passes to all of our students in late September or early October. Okay, as a reminder, masks are required on public transit. Now, you can learn more about the program by visiting their website at ridefreert.com. All right, now where can you learn about maybe some job openings in our district? Well, if you go to our Elk Grove Unified School District job postings, which is found um, at both on our website at career opportunities or you can go to edjoin.org you'll see all of the variety of office uh, of open positions that we have okay here we go when is the next board meeting and will it be in person and do i have to wear a mask well the answer is the board meeting will be tuesday september 7th and yes it will be in person and yes you will be required to wear a mask now the next board meeting of course will take place on tuesday september 7th it will be in in person at the robert l trigg education centers at uh, education center and masks will be required indoors all right we have a beautiful story to share with you um, this took place at our most recent uh, board meeting held on August 10th. We want to talk to you about the Miwok Village Elementary School. So it'll be our number 43rd, our 43rd elementary school. Wow. All right. So Elk Grove Unified School District staff has worked closely with the uh, Miwok Local Tribal Council and recommended that the board uh, take formal action to name the site, formerly referred to as Laguna Ridge East, as the Miwok Village Elementary School. That's right. The newest school in our district will be called the Miwok Village Elementary School. Now, um, this took place at the August 10th board meeting. And at that board meeting, the uh, Elk Grove Unified School District School Board approved the recommendation. And the district extends its respect and appreciation to the Wilton Rancheria Tribal Council for their involvement as well and engagement with the district to bring this formal naming to fruition. Everyone's happy about it. Now this effort and relationship will be of great value to our region. Uh, local tribal leaders and elders will play a critical role in the school planning, culture and overall school community now and forever. Um, we had the, our guests were Mary Tarango, Antonio Ruiz, and Raquel Williams and Jesus Tarango. Uh, they joined Elk Grove Unified School District staff during the August 10th board meeting for the presentation. And you can see some pictures um, of that presentation. Here's a little history for you. The Miwok people were the original residents of the Kasumnes River area. They had many uh, villages throughout the Elk Grove and or what we know as the Elk Grove and Franklin areas. And the Elk Grove and surrounding communities have become familiar with, oh my gosh, names and references to words like Kasamni, Makalamni, and Amakamni. I hope I said those right. Okay, the similarity among these references is credited to the Miwok people who were the first residents of what is now the South Sacramento region. 
When the first explorers came into this area in the very early 1800s, they found many groups of Native Americans living along the Kasumnas River and the little creeks and waterways which thread across what we now call Elk Grove, Laguna Creek, Wilton, Franklin, Sheldon, and Slough House. The Miwok people were the first to live along the Kasumnas River as it wound as its wound its way uh, down from the high country of El Dorado County to the flatlands, including the Elk Grove and Franklin areas. In the waterways west of Highway 99, the Kasumnas River joins the McCullany River and together they flow on until they become one with the mighty San Joaquin. Now this was home to many Miwok people who spanned out or spanned south and east as far as Yosemite and into the Delta region. So there's a little history for you of our area. And if you want to learn more, you can visit this uh, letter and read up on it. Um, I'm sure there's lots of available online as well. All right, that ends today's update. Remember to subscribe to the Elk Grove Unified School District's YouTube channel and click on that little bell icon to receive notifications. I'm Santi Soriano, stay safe and stay healthy.